What is up, my creatures? I am the Galactic Panther, and welcome back to another Minecraft Legend Fortune video. And uh, today in this video, I'll be giving you a tip for I've uh, part of uh, Tip Tuesday slash Tutorial Tuesday. And uh, yeah, this tip is going to be how you can actually hide your light in Minecraft. So uh, why is why would this be useful? Well, sometimes you just want to have some light, but it doesn't, but might not necessarily look good if you just with the torches just sticking around everywhere but a way to a way to avoid this is to actually hide your light with different blocks so that's what i'm going to do today and uh hope you hopefully you all do enjoy this video and if you do please uh please leave a like and a comment and all that fun jazz so yeah let's get right into it with um you know i'm just so i i did cover all these uh torches up with these blocks so yeah um trap doors these do work um these do work to cover the light. So yeah, that's that. And then also fences. Fences. It. Uh, well, I don't have much to say about that. Yeah, sorry about the basic. Uh, sorry about the baby noises. Um, but yeah. Uh, so fences do work. Um, same with the. Uh, same with the stairs. But the thing is that the stairs they give off a bit of light, along with the half slabs. And half slabs are kind of weird, because even if you do have the, um, I think let's go ahead and let me actually place another half slab down there, and then go ahead and cover that up. You can see it still kind of shows. But not too much, not as much as if you place just one half slab or a half slab on top of that. So, it's kind of weird with the half slabs and the um, stairs. Uh, and it works for all variations of the half slabs and stairs. Same with the fences, works with all variations. Also with the trap door, works with the iron door. So yeah, that's that. Now the enchantment table. This could have a bit more of a function. S instead of just, you know, having to hide your light. And sorry about the basic baby noises, but yeah. So, um... Enchantment table, I can definitely see, see that being used because it will have a lot more of a function. Alright, so, yeah, sorry about those baby noises, but, uh, we'll just deal with it for now. Alright, so, yeah, these signs do work, but it's kind of a waste because, you know, it's not really covering the entire, um, the entire thing. And also, if you do break this, the, the entire thing collapses. So, that's that. And now the, uh, Wither Skeleton Skull, or... No, it works with any skull, and and it um, it don't it does function well, just that in order to actually do this, you would need to. Oh, sorry about that. In order to actually do this, you would need to place a torch right there. Actually, no. Before you even do that, you'd have to have the block itself. You know, do the so place this down the skull, and then do that because you can't place the skull right on top of the block, and you also can't do like place the skull and then place the skull right next to it which you can actually do with a lot of these but I'm not, I'm not going to talk about how you can actually place these so now the carpet the carpet actually does work there is actually a torch below this this isn't just a magical uh cell flick so now um along with the uh and all that uh, the iron uh like iron bar yeah that's what it is it also works and of in case you're wondering, fence gates actually do not work because you can't place fence gates on top of a torch. You can't. There's no way that you can place fence gates on top of a torch. And even if you do, it's gonna be one block above it. So it really doesn't doesn't matter with the fence gates. So now you can obviously also do this with uh, you can also also um, cover up torches with transparent blocks, like it would work with glass and all that. So for example, let me just do that. So yeah, it also does work with glass, and let me grab a torch from over here. So yeah, glass does work, um, it doesn't matter what glass, so, like for example, it was that glass, it still works, because it's transparent, it's transparent, and also, um, purple glass, or, or, or whatever that is, yeah, it also works. And also ice does work, but the thing is that the ice will melt if you if you leave it there. So ice really not it really isn't um too hopeful. But yeah, also this does give you a fun glitch, so I'll show you that in, in a little bit. I'll come back to that. And in case you were wondering, 
the very uh, the other variation of the ice is packed ice and packed ice does actually not work it counts as a full block and it's not transparent so therefore it will not work and you also see this bit of floating um floating water that's kind of cool isn't it but yeah now slime blocks do work and slime blocks this is a semi-transparent block. I think that it will actually work a bit better because in uh, slime contraptions and all that, then you can uh, and if you need to line, li uh, light up your redstone stuff, you can just um, put it under a slime block and that will work. So the cobblestone wall, this also works. It works with all variations of the of the cobblestone wall. So for example, the mossy cobblestone, mossy cobblestone wall, yeah, that stuff. All of that works, and obviously the dirt block will not work. Um, so, like for example, let me just go ahead and break this packed ice. So, like for example, any solid block, like the dirt block, that doesn't work. Coarse dirt, that doesn't work. Okay, any of those solid blocks, it will not work. Now, the daylight sensor. This is actually another functional one because this is a redstone thing, and also if you, yeah, so. If you need to uh, do something with the daylight sensor, you can actually do that. Like invert daylight sensor and all that stuff. And now also, okay, <laughs> I found this kind of funny that you can actually have this like that, paintings, and it will still work. Um, but it really doesn't cover it up that much, so uh, I really don't like it. And I'll actually go ahead and get rid of these item frames because they do cause lag in, in case you didn't know, so I'll go ahead and get rid of those. Also, I'll also get rid of the paintings just in case. And um, now moving on to the next one, this is the hopper. Um, so now this is another redstone one, which actually will work. And uh, yeah, that's that. Like, I don't even know if that went down or not. Anvil. <laughs> All right. So now the anvil also will work. And um, yeah, this is also another functional one. Crafting tables and furnaces and all that stuff do not work, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. Now, okay, so now the cauldrons also work, and, uh, cauldrons actually might be used for a bit more decorational purposes. So, yeah, that's that. And also, another block that is not actually available in Vanilla Micro Survival, um, is the end portal frame. So, the end portal frame does cover it up, but it is not available in uh, Vanilla Minecraft Survival, so you can't obviously get that. Now the bed, the bed actually does cover up your torches, and yeah, so this will actually be really functional uh, for lining up houses and all that. Obviously, you don't want to place a bed in every single spot of your floor, but in one in one specific area, if you don't want to have the torch just right to right next to your bed, just place it on your bed, and it will work. So now, uh, with the chest, it w does work with all chests, um, all, vari all variations of the chest, or with the uh, trap chest, um, ender chest, and regular chest, and also this does also work with the, um, double chests and all that, so, yeah, that's that, and now, moving on to the broom stand, the broom stand also does work, and also can be a bit more functional, because, you know, it's, uh, Obviously, brewing isn't something that you just do once. It's something that you come back to constantly. Well, if you do like brewing constantly. And now the cobwebs do also work. And uh, cobwebs, I can't find much purpose for them. I mean, they don't necessarily look good at all builds. So, I don't know. If, if In case you want to use it, that's that. And also, you, you can cover up light with light blocks. But it really doesn't matter because, I mean, it's just more light and... I mean, for a beacon, I guess it could kind of work well, and glowstone and uh, sea lanterns because they do kind of look decorational. And same with the jack o' lanterns. But if you want them to be decorational like this, then you might as well just place a uh, um, beacon, glowstone, or jack o' lantern itself. You don't necessarily need the torch under there, because it really doesn't matter. It's, it's, it, light is light, even though these. Actually, it would make more sense if you use these because these blocks actually do um do give off more light than the torch does so yeah uh yeah in case you didn't know beacons actually do give off give, give off light so covering up light with light uh really does doesn't make any sense and it's kind of worthless 
So now, uh, moving on to another decorational one, which is the um, leaves. So right here, I'm using oak leaves, but you can do this with any variation of leaves. You can do this with spruce leaves, acacia leaves, uh, dark oak leaves, any of that stuff. You just cover it up, and it kind of looks like a bush, actually, a, a little bush. So yeah, that's nice. And um, yeah, I think that that is all. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, yeah, I did cover up everything, or, or I did cover everything, um, all of that stuff, yeah, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below, if you did not like, li like, like this video, if, um, leave a dislike, and just leave a comment, let me know what you can improve on, or let me know what I can improve on, and, uh, let me know what other types of games and videos you guys like to see on the channel. Also, in the comments, let me know if this video did help you out, because it did take me quite a while to, uh, figure all this stuff out. I spent, I spent, um, quite a bit of time in creative trying to figure out what blocks actually cover up the light. And, uh, yeah, for tomorrow's episode of, or for tomorrow's video, uh, an informational Wednesday, I will actually cover how, um, light actually works, how it functions, and how you can, um, make your lighting more effective, and as well as, <coughs> as well as every block that gives off light. But, uh, yeah, that's for tomorrow, and, uh, yeah, I hope you all did, do enjoy it, and, uh, or did enjoy it, and, um, I think I pretty much covered everything, uh, alright, don't forget to share this with friends, and subscribe to the channel for awesome content, also, if you subscribe, you'll see all my latest videos on, on your subscription page, as well as be notified of all my live streams and stuff like that, yeah, I started so much throughout this video, but, uh, hope you all did enjoy it anyway, and I already said that, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the